my god, it's a Nintendo Direct. Ooh, oh my god, it's a Nintendo Direct. Woohoo. I cannot believe it. I wonder if there's going to be a uh, Metroid Prime 4 news. Um, let's get into that. Um, Tears of the Kingdom DLC news. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC news. Um, uh, what, uh, Mario RPG remake news. Uh, we're definitely going to get new news on the new Princess Peach game. I cannot wait for that. That game looks really interesting. Um, I can't wait for a new Mario baseball game, you know. Um, probably Nintendo Switch Pro. Definitely going to be announced here. Um, I cannot wait um, uh, for this Nintendo Direct. Um, if I'm being serious for a second, I don't think this counts as, you know, like how the um, Nintendo always does like September Directs. I don't think this counts as that. Um, like, um... I don't. Th I still think we're gonna get a regular Nintendo Direct sometime in September because, well, it's not September. It's uh, August twenty thirty first. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know. I still think we're gonna get a regular Nintendo Direct sometime into September, and um, that sounds pretty interesting. Um, obviously, I'm very excited about this. Um, it's not like um, I'm not like. Um, I'm not, like, um, jumping out of my seat excited for any of this. Um, it's just, um, it's just gonna be pretty cool, um, cause this game looks really nice, and, um, I wanna, um, I actually wanna see what this game's about, cause we don't know very much about it right now. We don't know very much about, um, Mario Bros. Wonder, you know, um, it's not like, um, it's not like we know nothing about it. I mean, we can, um, but we don't know, like, the story, we don't know, like, we don't know like the story we don't know like um what uh if there's gonna be if if mario metal mario is gonna be playable i swear to god if um there's got to be at least one playable character they're hiding. Um, <laughs> I mean, Daisy was enough of a, of a surprise, but, um, I I'd like Wario. I think Wario would be really fun. Um, but, um, I don't know. I've, I'm not, like, I'm not, like, begging for another character. Um, a lot of people got really mad uh, on Twitter about, um, the Yoshi, the yellow Yoshi reusing a render, and I don't understand that in the slightest. Like, yeah they can reuse renders sometimes it's not even it's not that big of a deal like just be quiet guys i don't like yeah the other yoshis are have new renders but why does why does why does it, why does it really matter that much i don't i don't really understand it does look a little out of place because we've seen that render so many times you know um i'm actually gonna check my audio levels because um i need to see all right we should probably be good and i can just edit it to see if it's whatever um uh yeah this is definitely um i don't really like the logo to this game like um it's just like this like um this like am i capturing my cursor i actually don't know um properties okay Right. We're capturing my cursor. I don't know why I did that, but um, but it's like this um, it's it's like this area of the logo that's just like black for some reason. I don't I don't like that at all though. Just a weird perspective thing. Um, I like the name. I think it's um, a creative name. That's not a new Super Mario, but this game obviously. Um, I wonder what uh like this like thing is all about. Like if that's a new like a new like character or is it like a resident of like this because like in the trailers they were like there was like welcome to the flower kingdom and all that stuff i wonder if that's like a resident of the flower kingdom we also saw like what looked like a like a variant of toad um in the trailer so um that could be something um I just hope this game is good. <laughs> um it it looks good. Um it um it's probably going to be good. I mean like sorry. Phew. Huh. Alright. Um, yeah, it looks good, and Nintendo's very protective about the Mario games. They're usually, like, 
Yeah, these are gonna, especially like a mainline 2D, like a mainline like 2D or 3D Mario game. They're definitely gonna be like super protective about that. Um, they're probably not gonna make it so like, like um, Mario Sunshine had some pretty funky glitches in there, but um, other than that, there's um, I think every single one has been polished to like a complete degree. Um, so um, I don't know. It mm, it might. I don't know. It um. I'm gonna turn something else off. Um, this um, it looks fun. I like the art style. Um, I like the. I just I'm just interested to learn more, which is why I'm doing this. And I'm just kind of rambling at this point because we got like three minutes until the thing starts. So. Um, I've been, um, I'm pretty excited for a bunch of games that are coming out, um, Mario RPG Remake, um, uh, then, um, I'm really excited for, um, WarioWare Move It, um, I think, cause, like, I love, like, Smooth Moves, it's probably my favorite WarioWare game, I love Twisted as well, I like most of the WarioWare games, I love Get It Together, but, um, Twist, Twisted, um, I mean, not Twisted, I mean, um, sorry, um, Smooth Moves just had his own, like, flavor of fun to it with all the motion controls shenanigans, and, um, Move It looks just like that, and, um, that looks really, really fun. Um, and I, um, I like motion control minigame collections, but a lot of them on Switch aren't that great. Um, I haven't played Nintendo Switch Sports, but, um, I have heard that people don't really like it that much. Um, I, I obviously can't speak on it because I haven't played it, but, um, it doesn't look very appealing to me. It's just like it's like seven sports with like golf being added recently. I don't know. It's just like, eh. I mean, yeah, I'm sure it's fun, but it just doesn't. It just doesn't, it doesn't really grab me. Um. Um. I'm also excited. I'm excited for Nickelodeon All Star Brawl too. Um, I think um, I think it looks like a huge step out from the first one. And I'm actually I actually quite like the first one. So um, I think um, and I think all the new characters look pretty cool. And um, I'm actually really excited for that game. Um, I know um, there's a lot of people that are like, eh, whatever. It's just gonna be another Nickelodeon All Star Brawl game. But I don't know. I liked the first one. I thought it was fun. It was like kind of just like dumb fun. Yeah, not launching with voice acting was pretty weird and um uh i don't know it's it's just it was fun i like it um i am not talking about mario <laughs> anymore um what, what is uh, there's like uh, luigi's mansion dark moon coming to switch which was actually pretty exciting i like dark man i like it a lot actually it's uh, it's definitely my least favorite of the three but when all of them are good that's not really saying much it's like saying oh i uh, I, I don't even know. I can't think of anything right now. But, um, I'm really excited about that. The Princess Peach game looks pretty neat. Um, I just can't really say much about it because we don't really know that much about it. Um, and it should really be starting any second now. So that's cool. Like, it's like 9.59. So, <laughs> um, um, yeah. Um, I like the whole, um, Mario. Oh, yeah, the whole... Um, Charles Martin, I think. I'll, I'll probably talk about that at the end. Um, because I forgot to talk about it here. But, um, yeah. Alright, it's 10 o'clock now, so we should be starting any second now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, there we go. Ooh, so exciting! Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. I thought it would be like a not so distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, Toda is Mario my... and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had Whoa, other plans. Bowser. I thought there would With be like just a um, single a host touch of the mysterious Yo, wonder here? flower. I love that. New Bowser form. Did he transform into the show? With Prince Florian's castle. Oh, okay. That's Bowser. Oh, that's... that's pretty cool. Oh, so 
thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. Now, it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. Oh, that is really interesting. I wonder why they didn't show that in trouble. Yo, Nabbit? Nabbit? In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest didn't reveal 2D that side-scrolling adventure, playable, the um, Super Mario Brothers Wonder trailer, Game. Let's jump in! Because it sounds like Let's she's a huge in. surprise or anything. I like the music a lot. It's really, it's this really pleasant. This is the Flower Kingdom. Interesting. It's made up of six distinct worlds that six. circle the Petal Isles, usually making a total eight. of seven areas to explore. Uh, Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. So it's like a mountain thing? Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. So like ice and sky? Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery so and like radiant cascades of shining falls. Traverse multiple islands, dive into the sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, so the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand so as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of Why? molten magma like a, and more. I thought that was like honey. A rich variety Yo, of fire spikes, that's each sick. World. Move around the map in each world to select a course. People are gonna have a field you day. You can even um, walk freely through open areas um, you find. What the fuck? In um, these spaces, people are gonna have a field day. If you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. There's like play them levels, in any like order you like. Three boxes, kind of. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy way to find the so ones like you want to play again. World, kind of. Well, I don't know if you could select levels, but you could see your While in courses, now. you might notice some talking flowers. Yes. Get close and. Onward and upward. It's definitely How do you get up here? What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you. It's livening up thing, your adventure. Honestly. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They the hell's that up? Wonder if you can get over there. Or coins. You'd share your water with me? Interesting. You're kind of like NPCs, I guess. Besides Mario, That's you can also of... play as yeah. Luigi. Peach, Daisy, one of two Toads, Blue. and Toadette. Oh, they all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. Oh, so Peach and Daisy don't have the flow. The Yoshis and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit, so watch your step. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Oh, like, uh, skip scoops, kind of? Like Mario Melon Maker. piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Do they damage you? Condards will fly at you and stick their oh, beaks like this, where they don't like belong. That. Um, just like a when conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Can you do that with other enemies? Mom just Mom them? will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. So is it an instant death? There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas. Yeah, Koopa cool. Troopas. They look really Boos. good though. Oh, those look amazing. Locky Twos and Locky other familiar twos. What are you saying? are also here. It's Lakitu. Oh, new power-ups. Okay. Next, let's look at the new power-ups right. you can find. Those are interesting. In elephant form, make the most of your nose. Do other characters um, transform into different Swing enemies? your trunk to attack enemies. Like people who are um, Destroy blocks. And even do this. People were, uh, in this form, you can easily break through blocks people were thinking. and they were dash thinking across large they were, gaps. They were, they were See? Into different animals. If you store um, water we haven't in your seen trunk any and other, spray it um, out, who knows what might happen? Thank you! That trunk sure is useful, huh? Yeah. It's not just Mario, though. Oh, okay. Luigi, the Toads, oh, God. Peach, 
Peach, okay. Daisy, and Toadette all have elephant forms as well. No. The bubble form allows yeah, you to bubble. blow light, floating bubbles. They can be used to capture this and defeat enemies in, from a distance. That's interesting. They'll also drift toward nearby foes. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious like foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them, like platforms. That's interesting. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. It's definitely more interesting like than that. like a flying power. <gasps> While in drill form, you'll get a it's pretty like, um, nifty it's like drill. Kirby from this makes that. dealing with spiky huh, interesting. or That's actually hard headed cool. enemies a breeze. Or you can use it to drill down. It also I allows like you to burrow and cool. move through the ground. In a tough spot, dig away. You can even burrow into the ceiling. Huh. I mean, that's probably situational. Um, it only works Whoa! At some levels, I'm sure. Wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. That's cute, like the little uh, oh, fireball. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power up. Yeah, that makes sense. In a pinch, bust out a power up. Wow, what or is that? swap them to better fit the situation. So that's all the power up. That's interesting. This is a wonder flower, a plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. So when you touch a wonder around. flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger, causing some Whoa. interesting changes. Whoa. So it's like the pipes might start level. moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. I'm guessing that it's... The terrain may tilt. You can end up in a free fall. Bubbles might, uh, bubble up. Your perspective can change. That's weird. Or you might float through space. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Mario might become a Goomba? Or a spike ball? It kind of makes up for the lack of power-ups. Or blow up like a balloon. When you touch a Wonder Flower, always expect the unexpected. Wonderful. Collect Wonderful. a Wonder Seed and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the Wonder Seeds you've collected. Yeah, that makes sense. I've been doing that for a bit. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Nice. Badges? Like achievements? As your adventure progresses, you'll like, unlock you like... in game badges that change up the way you play yeah, when that's equipped. What I was thinking. Interesting. That's actually really cool. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. That's really Let's cool. Uh, Mario them. has never really done that before. Slow your fall with the parachute that's, cap badge. That's interesting. Um, yeah. That's, Enhance your wall that's, jumping that's abilities really with the cool. wall climb jump badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with the Crouching High Jump Badge. Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with the Grappling Vine Badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the Safety Bounce Badge. Easily find important items using the Sensor Badge. Draw in nearby Moolah with the Coin Magnet Badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. That sounds annoying. You will not stop dashing with the jet run badge. So, huh. and you can run in the air for a bit. So sometimes there are not many very, more badges um, with different abilities, from benefits. the convenient to the unconventional. Only yeah, one badge sense. can be equipped per course. Huh. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Cool. Some badges can be earned Lives during special badge challenge courses. Go for it! 
while others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Yeah, that makes sense. So is there going to be online Up to play? four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around Yoshi the course. Yoshi very overpowered. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi. they can't take damage. Or if you're an elephant. Huh. Yep, all right, online play confirmed. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world map and in courses. Oh, is it just These like the These are people from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Oh, it's not. Just oh. like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Oh, okay, it's not actual. Players can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, yeah, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players that's online cool, as you but, enjoy uh, this new adventure together. You can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not-so-easy areas and help your fellow players. You can purchase area. standee surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. What's These heart points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Hmm. Reviving ghosts, gifting this items. This kind of reminds me of like Death Stranding a little bit. Reaching the goal pole together and more will earn you heart points. Huh. <laughs> I probably not gonna. While playing online, very often. you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. Uh, in a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Yeah, Start a race bad. by hitting the race block. That's cool. Don't then push. make a run for it. Actual online multiplayer. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed or defeat a boss instead. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races, you can enhance your experience with online play. What a beautiful day! This game looks pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not like, um, again, I'm not like, um, out of my seat excited for it, but, um, I'll definitely pick it up, and I'll definitely, um, enjoy it. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends Whoa! when Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Plus, a new Nintendo Switch OLED Whoa, model Mario so Red Edition is Switch. also on the way. If you look closely, you'll find Mario <laughs> Why is it and subtle? some hidden coins. Just make it the actually Nintendo like The Nintendo Switch cool. OLED model Mario Red Edition launches October 6th. Game something, why is it? Okay then. It's like the Animal Crossing Switch, I guess. Um, interesting. Um, um, um it's a little... It's a, it's a little odd that they waited to announce Toadette until this one. Um, I'm a little disappointed that the characters don't have, like, um, different animal forms. But the game looks really cool. I like the badge system. I think that has a lot of potential, and I think that it looks really nice. Um, uh, I think the game looks really nice in general. Um, I think a lot of its ideas are pretty cool. Like, the online play is interesting, but I would have preferred, like, um, an actual, like, online multiplayer mode. Um, but yeah, um, looks pretty neat. 
Um, yeah, that's really all I got to say. Um, also, uh, the whole Charles Martinet thing is definitely, um, it's definitely, like, dis it's not disappointing, but it's definitely upsetting, because, like, yeah, he is Mario to me, and I do hope that he chose to retire and Nintendo didn't force him out, um, which I do think is the case, um, because, um, I think he would be talking about it unless he has, unless there's something he has to say. I don't know, but, um, game looks really cool i'm a little disappointed that charles Martinet isn't voicing mario anymore um let's get out of here because the star fox zero trailer is is looking at me weird all right bye